What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to the 93 rated Prime Icon George Best Player Review. So amongst EA releasing the Team of the Year midfielders, they've decided to drop another icon. Many people are predicting that we'll also get another icon today uh, when the defenders drop, which won't be a bad thing. A lot of people have said a 94 rated icon. That has to be Ronaldinho, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know why people are suspecting that. Maybe it's gone up in 92, 93. The last two days, though, we've had the best icons, uh, in my opinion at least, that, uh, that they there have been so far. George Best is definitely one of those that if you were considering doing an icon that you should uh, really sit down and have a think about because this is one of those that you will have in your team for the remainder of the game regardless of team of the year, team of the season, foot birthday, any other promo that they could possibly release. This is a right wing for the ages. This is a phenomenal looking card. Now stats wise You've just seen them on screen. I'm just going to run through some of the best ones. I might be here a while. Uh, the dribbling across the board is fantastic. It's 90 plus for everything, which is insane. Uh, the pace is 94. Acceleration, 92. Sprint speed, which is nice. Finishing is 94. Long shot are 90. And shot power is 89. That's fantastic stat as well. Passing there. What a great ball to Rivaldo. Unfortunately, Rivaldo... Uh, didn't really do much with that, to be fair. He was on the wrong side. He needed to cut in, and when I tried to cut in, it was just... Chance was gone. The strength about Best is probably worth mentioning first, because it is literally the only negative I can find. Everything else about this card is ridiculous. Negative-wise, uh, strength, 68. It's not great. Uh, for a winger, I've definitely seen worse. I think someone like Insigne, for instance, has like 40, 50. Same with Mertens, not that he's a winger, but I, to be fair, I use him as a winger. So yeah, they don't have great strength, and it's definitely worth noting that uh, the strength is particularly low on George Best. However, it's also worth noting that that is the only negative stat. Four star, four star is nice. And of course, uh, you have the 87 heading as well. Like That's something that a winger doesn't normally have, something you don't normally... Uh, expect to see on a winger so if you do decide to play George Best as a striker know that he has 92 composure 94 finishing 87 heading he's only 5'9 to his credit so I mean you could argue that he won't win a header but he does have 80 jumping you can boost that by 10 or 15 points and get yourself an insane salmon uh, with uh, with really good heading ability I tell you what though I score a lot of time for nest shots and I feel like I'm getting better and better and it really does help when you've got players like George Best in your team because they are just so good at doing that. That's a, a weak foot finish, low driven. I've been testing that out a lot lately as well. I'll tell you what, if you get into range, uh, close range inside the penalty area and use a low driven shot, it's almost as effective if you can get it on target, almost as effective as it was last year. And I say that and, and I mean it, I genuinely mean time for their shots or time low driven shots, sorry in the penalty area are deadly that like again like they were last year time for next shots of course are king and i've been using those a lot and he's just fantastic at doing it the 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 strengths of course we've already just mentioned long shots dribbling running through people with pace and the ability to use skills is what he's all about and that's what his uh, his real life game was all about as well i didn't grow up watching george best because he was a little bit before my time but i've got uh, several best of like match of the day DVDs and things like that and he runs the show in all of those games I mean he literally runs through people I tell you what who reminds me of George Best a little bit and I say a little bit because obviously when you think of it FIFA wise not at all but in real life Ryan Giggs is a very similar player to George Best in the fact that he used to run through people as if they weren't there remember that goal against Arsenal Ryan Giggs scored a while back. It was a long time ago now. Actually, I remember like 1998 or something stupid. I remember watching that. That was insane. In Anyway, we're here to talk about George Best. Uh, this guy is incredible. I've stuck a dead eye on him. We'll talk about that when we get to the chem style in just a second. I'm also going to toy with another chem style. We'll talk through both of those. But all in all, this is, I think, one of, if not the highest rating I've given a player this year. He is very close to being perfect. If he had, I would say, 75-80 strength and he had a high attacking work rate, maybe a 5-star weak foot or 5-star skills, then we'd be talking perfect. I mean, I'm nitpicking, sure, of course I am. But it's, uh, it's definitely worth thinking about this one because the price is, I wouldn't say attractive, but you do get a lot of decent packs back. I think they've dulled down one or two of the packs. I'd have to double-check that, but... Um, 
yeah, uh, chemstar wise, let's talk about the dead eye because it's <laughs> it's difficult when you get a card like this because they've got the stats are so high anyway. It's it's almost impossible to decide what to do with it because you can either boost what is remaining on things like finishing, maybe acceleration, sprint speed, and, and stuff like that, or you can try and hit something that you don't use that often that may come in handy and isn't quite that high. So the short passing is 85. With a dead eye, of course, he does get a plus 10. So you now have 95 short passing. Definitely beneficial to have. Uh, not necessarily essential, but again, it's a case of he didn't have anything else worth boosting, so I thought, well, I might as well just give him that dead eye and, and boost that. Of course, you do refine that um, that finishing. The long shots goes up to being perfect, and uh, the long shots definitely go up by five, making it one of the better long shot takers in the game. And he was already fantastic to begin with anyway, so I'd like to know what that's going to be like. Now, if we look at the... Maestro chem style, which is another one of those that I tend to use a lot. You still get the boost in shot power and indeed in the long shots. In fact, now he's up to 99 long shots. So he's perfect shot power, perfect long shots. He's got perfect reactions, sorry, not reactions, ball control and dribbling. He's got 95 reactions. He's got very close to being perfect agility. His passing now goes up to 95. His free kicks are up to 85. Not that you'll really be taking them with George Best, I'm sure. You've probably got other free kick takers who are capable. Uh, the, the only negative there then, really, that we haven't managed to hit, I suppose, is curve, which I'm not that bothered about. Uh, I'm still on the fence as to whether curve affects shooting or not. Many people will say no. In fact, a lot of people I read say curve doesn't affect shooting because it's in the passing um, category. But agility affects pace, and that's not in the category. Uh, composure ex affects finishing, and that's not in the shooting category. Do you know what I mean? It swings and roundabouts. I've got him on the left-hand side. I'm not... I know it's a bit... It's a bit annoying, really, for those of you who want to know about him being on the right side. You know, maybe one of you, you're one of these guys who don't like to switch in-game, and I get that, and I perfectly understand why. But... Um, I, I play with him on the left because he's right footed. Yes, he's got a four star weak foot and I suppose cutting in on the left foot wouldn't be the end of the world but it would be so much better and it is indeed so much better to be able to cut in on that right foot from the left hand side. Talk about that when we look at the team in just a second. Now, uh, stay forward. I've got on Best, Rashford and Rivaldo. Uh, it works in certain formations. I did a draft in a 4-3-3, and it didn't work there at all. There was a massive gap between my strikers and my midfield. Um, that is the team right there. Of course, you would have seen it already. But we, we play a... That's a 4-3-3 to set up. But we do move into a 4-3-2-1. And uh, we, we switch George Best over to where Rivaldo is. To be fair, I could probably start in a 4-3-2-1. And it wouldn't make a blind bit of difference. I could just switch Rivaldo and Best. But uh, it was like that from the previous setup. So I've just left it there. And then we just switch in game anyway. So it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. So yeah, George Best on that left hand side. Rivaldo on the right. It's actually worked out really well. Because Rivaldo is left footed. He's got a terrible weak foot. So playing him on that left hand side would be just a waste. And then of course George Best. I, I, I don't... It says right wing, right? He's a right wing. I don't remember him playing right wing. I mean, every single card he has is right wing. I either remember being him a striker or running down the left. I don't remember him. Or running the, down the middle. I don't remember him being specifically a right wing. I think cards in FIFA need to start having more than one position. You know, you've got like Gareth Bale, for instance, who, yeah, okay, at the moment is playing right wing, but played left wing for Tottenham. He played left back for Southampton, and he plays striker sometimes for Madrid. So why can you only play him at right wing on full chem? doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We need more than one position per player. I wouldn't necessarily... I mean, that's a great goal. That is incredible. That is a Fabinho lob. And a, a lob is what it is. It's not a finesse shot gone wrong. It wasn't a mistake. I tried to lob the goalkeeper from the edge of the area, considering the goalkeeper was within the six-yard box. I've just gone for it. I mean, look, the goalkeeper's not even off his line. And I still went for it, knowing how broken this game is, and managed to pull it off. And I'm really happy about that. It's one of my, my favourite goals that I've scored recently. So, George Best. Should you get him, should you not get him? I said at the beginning, this is one of those cards that you'll have from now until the end of the game. And you probably won't want to change him out unless you get bored. It's not, not going to be anything to do with ability. So, in my opinion, this is 100% worth picking up. If you have an icon in your club already, this is going to be considerably cheaper. And, of course, we have a lot of upgrade packs. So, what I'm doing, specifically, is using a lot of the upgrade packs to try and get high-rated players. It's not a sound science, of course. There are going to be some variables here or there. And, definitely, uh, some, some bum packs that I'm not expecting or, or hoping for. However... 
I am uh, I'm already on the way to being able to complete one of these segments for George Best. So if you've already got an icon and you can use upgrade packs to your advantage, maybe you pack a team of the year along the way, but you know, hopefully you'll pack some high-rated players, you're going to be laughing, really, because this George Best card as an SBC, yes, he'll be untradeable, but you'll get some decent packs back to open at the best time of the year, and... You'll uh, have done it relatively cheap because of the upgrade packs. Now, if you are buying him outright, 1.7 is actually, in my opinion, at least a fair deal. That's not too bad at all. That's only like, I don't know, one or 200,000 more than a Prime Gerard. And this card is phenomenal. You will not want to switch this out, ever. If you have enjoyed this review, do me a favor and smack that like button. Maybe you've got a difference of opinion. Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And until the next time, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.